I feel like I am wielding a bus full of psychotic poison knife holding kindergartners and I'm just like over here please bow the leader murder that man you know what kindergarten teachers say usually this scares me <laughs> you know what let's see what happens so let's see how this goes I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill anything oh no things are things are actually dying uh, oh god this is this is a little bit dicey I don't totally like this. <laughs> Wait, where are my golems? Did, did my golems die, or am I confused? I think my golems just died. Oh god. Oh god, they're dying! Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I hope I did not just condemn another turtle to death. Did I make bad choices? I might have made bad choices. Okay, slow and steady rings their ways. Yeah, long haul. We can do this. Uh, the turtle's fine. Cool. Now we can do this. We just need to be careful. And also not go into the wildwood. Ever. Oh. oh my gosh, there's so many things here. So many splinters. <laughs> no, I didn't want to go in here! Oh shit. Uh... Shit, I did not want to go in here. I'm going to try to... No, I'm going to try to expend my light without picking up wisps. Which is stupid, I know. But I'm trying desperately to not make this map harder than it is. Because otherwise I will not be able to do it. Increased quant does not matter on a map you cannot do. Okay, I'm trying to, like, expend all, like expend as much. Okay, I can expend down to three purple wisps. <laughs> okay. That's good. No! Okay. 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 Everyone together, please. Together now. Who is getting murdered? Oh, that's my golems. Okay, my golems can get murdered. I don't care about the golems. This is pretty good for a build that is not properly set up and is doing a tier 10 100% delirious map. <laughs> not necessarily well, but I am doing it. And being able to do it at all is a big deal in my opinion. It's done it a little bit of it before. This is like a pretty big challenge. Convocate over here, dump my minions, run away. Put them. Oh god, convocate. To keep them away from that shit. Oh god, that's omniphobia. Oh, 100% delirious omniphobia. I am phobia of him. Arachnophobia versus omniphobia. Oh, he's dead. That was actually quite anticlimactic. <laughs> Gone to like focus mode, trying to protect Tortle. The Tortle must survive. Even if I die, he must live. Ironically, despite the fact that I am a necromancer, I can't bring him back to life after he dies. Again. It kind of feels like my one and only ability as a necromancer. And yet I cannot do it. Oh god, there's a pile of stuff over there now. No. Okay, respawn some stuff. Drag everyone over here. Who is struggling? Okay, the turtle's fine. That's okay, as long as the turtle's okay. Protect the turtle too with my life. The first turtle did not have a good life, unfortunately. 
Well, no, he had a good life. It just was a very short one. <laughs> no! Oh, no. I got bitten. Make sure if you do a build like this that you do not respawn before the poison has finished doing its damage to the monsters around you. Otherwise, you will just lose damage. Oh, God. I don't like whatever that was. Something's very fast. I'm gonna stand this pile of corpses because it makes me stronger. <laughs> I am hungry for corpses. Lyrim is scary. Lyrim is scary. I mean, it's always been scary, but... Oh, there's a harbinger there. That's what's going on. I knew something was dangerous. It's not spawning anymore, which means it spawned all its minions somewhere else, and I haven't killed them yet. Right here. These are its minions. So it's going to start spawning stuff behind us in a second, then. So I need, we need to be careful that we're not backing up into something really bad. Yep, they're right there now. Okay, run back. Okay, for health. Gotta protect the turtle. Turtle protection squad. I am 20 small spiders and one big fuck off turtle. <laughs> My favorite type of build. This is pretty good for a level 88 character to be able to survive this. Oh god, nope. Nope, that's a bit much. Okay. No, I'm not getting cross struck. Thank you very much. Okay, gotta keep the Arcanist brands down. No. No, 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 no. 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 We're not. We're not doing the whole lag thing. That's not happening. I want to rush that shrine, but I also don't want to take unnecessary risks. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over there. I need to be careful. Nope. Pull everyone back away from the explosions. I forgot the convocation is like really important for being able to move things. My minions are over there fighting for their lives, and I'm like, shiny! I will FBI Mr. President for the turtle if I have to. Uh, well, I guess that's what just happened, so let's just say that's what I just did, and not make it sound like it is just a complete mistake that led to my death there. I definitely should have waited before doing that until the rest of the map was clear. But it's gonna go into a scary zone soon, isn't it? Okay, I need something to to trigger a kill, please. Something to kill something. There we go, okay. Spiders! Spider time! Kill everything! Mm, nope. I'm getting stunlocked. Stunlock me. Don't stunlock me, bro. No, no, no. God, this map is scary. Eight and another corpse, that's good. I need to remember to keep that up. That's definitely a soul eater. There's no way it's not a, that's a fucking soul eater. Murder him, fucking kill him. We have to kill him or he will kill us. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Please. Please. You dead? No? Almost? Yes. Okay. A Soul Eater hasted rare is awful. This almost makes me want to try Signal Prey. Or Predator Support, whatever it's called. The skill is called Signal, signal Prey. I wonder how well that would work with uh, spiders. Then at least you can tell them where to go. I don't know how well the AI will respond to being told where to go. Oh my gosh, there's a huck down there. I'm gonna rush it. This is dangerous. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I have Huck with me now. He will give a damage boost to my spiders. 
assuming that call to arms works on spiders. This is my strategy to just make them a lot easier, is just bring Einhar with you, bring Huck with you, just grab every buff you can. If you're a direct damage build, uh, swap Einhar out for the Sulfite Intoxication. Get like 100% extra damage, you know, that fun stuff. Oh wow, that is a lot of things. I feel like I'm wielding a bus full of psychotic poison knife holding kindergartners, and I'm just like, over here, please. Follow the leader. Murder that man. You know, what kindergarten teachers say usually. That is so many. There's just so many fractured items there. I don't want to deal with all of that at once. Let's, let's clear out this area before I look at what the fractured items are. Ram the bus into the beast. Man, this will be so nice when I have, like, the other third of my damage that comes from actually having a curse. That isn't just the, uh, mark. I should really get that at some point, because this map would have been so much easier if I just had more damage. Almost at the boss room. This also reminds me I don't have Culling Strike on anything. I might want to add that to something. Not that I currently have anything to add it to, but... Unless I want to add it to a golem, maybe. Could do that, but I'd have to take something out to do that. I don't really want to do that. Okay, now for the really scary thing, where we go fight Mervale with seven stages of Delirium at 100% tier 10. Oh, God! Why did I even bother coming in here? This is awful. I'm so fucked. Thank you for saving me temporarily, Shaper, but, like, that's not going to last. Do you think I'm going to survive longer? Actually, I'm still alive somehow. I'm still alive. That is kind of confusing. I mean, I do... I am a minion build, I guess. There's a Harbinger in here! Why is there a fucking Harbinger in here? Does the map boss, the Harbinger, and all the Delirium shit all at once? Why? Holy shit, am I actually gonna do this? We've cleared up most things. Wait. What? Where's Merva? Oh my gosh, Mervale's at her second stage somehow. We must have... Holy shit, she's going down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we just killed a... 100% Delirious Tier 10 boss with a level 88, not totally theory crafted proper build. And I don't even have a chunk of my damage. How the fuck did we do that? Okay, that was a bit mind blowing. Now to finish the rest of them. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a reach right here. Clear this little section here. Clear the bridge. And then we go over the bridge, but not till we clear this area. Wow, we did not get very far. But you know what? That's okay. We survived it, and that's the most important thing. Wow. I cannot believe we completed a tier 10 100% delirious map on this character already. Like, this... I thought this build was gonna be strong, but, like, I didn't think I was tanky enough for this. I thought I, we... Like, honestly, I did not think we would even get a quarter of the map done. The fact that we full cleared that map is... I'm just shaking my head right now. Like, like that's just ridiculous to me. This build has definitely blown my expectations out of the water. Hey, Editor Cat here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and... Leave a comment down below if you have any idea for future videos. And if you'd like to see more things like this, please subscribe. But otherwise, I will see you in the Atlas.